This is a tricky and yet fun one. It asks us to calculate the final concentration of hydroxide, so I'll write that down here, that, uh, that's formed when we add 5 mil, well yeah, when we've got KOH, KOH of course is going to dissociate to form potassium and hydroxide ions like that. It tells us that we've got 5 mils of a solution that's 0.105 molar KOH. It then says separately that in the same vessel we have calcium hydroxide. Calcium hydroxide dissociates to form calcium 2 plus and two molar equivalents of hydroxide. How much calcium hydroxide are we adding? Well, we're adding 15 mils of 9.5 times 10 to the negative 2 molar. What is the final concentration of hydroxide going to be? Well, what I need to do is determine how much hydroxide is formed from the KOH, how, and then separately how much hydroxide is formed from the calcium hydroxide. I get the answer for this and this, I then add them together, that's the final concentration of hydroxide. It also has to be separately to figure out the pH, which we can do in a heartbeat once we've got that done. So let's see if we can figure this out. 5 mils, I need to convert that to liters, I know that 1000 milliliters are present in 1 liter. I've got the solution, 0.105 moles of KOH in 1 liter. I also know from the stoichiometry in this equation that I have one mole of KOH for every one mole of hydroxide. I'll let you take a look at this for a moment, and I'll start doing stuff. My moles of KOH cancel each other out, my liters cancel each other out, my mils cancel each other out, and I throw that into my calculator, and I end up getting, uh, I end up getting 0 0.000525 moles of hydroxide from the KOH. So this is the amount of moles of hydroxide from this. Now we'll go down to this one. I've got 15 milliliters. I need to convert that to liters, so I'll go ahead and remember that there are 1,000 milliliters in one liter. I've got 9.5 times 10 to the negative 2 moles of calcium hydroxide in one liter. That's the concentration of this thing. How many uh, moles of hydroxide is that going to end up being? Well, for every one mole of calcium hydroxide that I have in this bounce stoichiometric equation, I have two moles of hydroxide getting spat out. So you can hopefully look at this and make sense of it. The liters cancel each other out, the mils cancel each other out, the moles of calcium hydroxide cancel each other out. I throw that into my calculator and I end up getting the total number of moles of hydroxide from this as being uh, 2.85 times 10 to the negative third. So I have this many moles of hydroxide coming out from my calcium hydroxide. I have that many moles of hydroxide coming out from my KOH. Keep in mind now that I want to get the concentration of hydroxide. The concentration is in moles of hydroxide divided by total liters of solution. How many liters of solution have I thrown together here? Well, I've got 5 milliliters from this stuff, and I've got 15 milliliters of that stuff. So I add those two together, that's 20 milliliters total of solution. How many liters is that? Well, if you're okay with me jumping the gun here, that's 0 0.02 liters. So what I need to do to determine the concentration of hydroxide is take this many moles of hydroxide plus this many moles of hydroxide, that's the total number of moles of hydroxide, and then divide it by the volume, which is the number of liters right here. So I'll go ahead and do that. I've got 0.000525 plus 2.85 times 10 to the negative third. This is the number of moles of hydroxide. I divide that by 0 0.02 liters. And that gives me a total concentration of hydroxide as being 0.17 molar hydroxide. That is the final concentration of hydroxide. I'll go ahead and throw that up here then, 0.17 molar. Now it asks me for the pH. How can I do that from hydroxide? Well, you might remember me saying that uh, pOH is equal to the negative log of the hydroxide ion concentration. In other words, I can calculate pOH by putting in this number right here, 0.17. I throw that into my calculator with pOH ends up being 0.772. What's the pH? Well, pH plus pOH are equal to 14. I take this number for pOH, I can throw it right in there, and then I can algebraically rearrange it to solve for pH, and that should give me the final answer.